Now, finally, a couple of things we're looking forward to sharing with you tonight. Dozens of robot engineers have been gathering in Bristol for a big competition. Robot combat has been growing in popularity. This is what it looks like, and Bristol is fast becoming a hub for enthusiasts. And we will find out what happens when these weaponized robots go to war. Now, do you remember this? A classic combination of robots and rage. Robot wars might have disappeared from our screens, but its spirit is alive and well in Bristol, with the city preparing to host a day-long robot war. Well, Jules Hyam has been to Bristol University to see some of the designers hoping to claim victory. Behind the Allen keys and drill bits on the benches of this Bristol workshop, something very cool is going on. These aren't any old robots. These are highly weaponized fighting machines. This thing here was made over Christmas. It's a bit of a bodge Heath Robinson job. It's been made out of parts from B&Q, random hardware stores like this kind of rusty saw. Um, and it was made with my dad in my kitchen. Instead of simply cutting into people, I'm simply hoping that as this spins up, the transfer of force will flip them back whilst also taking a nice chunk out of a corner of their armour. Tarkas has a circular saw and this as yet unnamed bot, well, it's got an arm. The hope is it will, like, someone drives up onto the kind of panel at the front and the arm comes down and hooks them and we can push them where we want. So different robots have got different strategies for winning and different weapons. But over here, there is a secret weapon on this one because this robot has got a face. It humanises the robot and it allows for a real, like, empathy to be created with the robot, which allows the crowd to get behind it. It just makes the whole thing more enjoyable when, when you have the people shouting your name or just pointing out parts of the robot. It really just brings the whole thing together. With Enigma with that flipper. And Enigma is a veteran of fully-fledged competition. Whoa! Let's see that again in slow-mo. Well, Bristol's incredible for this. It's a really creative, techy scene in Bristol. There's something magical about building something and then getting to drive it. Setting that to its doom against another robot is something really special, and I think it just, it just clicks with some people. And, uh, yeah, and I think it's just a really great way to express your engineering skills. So after a morning of tinkering, it is now time to put the bots to the test. No, not the face. Well, you can see why it's so popular and it looks like these Bristol bots are shaping up very nicely for the big arena event in the city on February the 26th. Jules Hyam, BBC, Points West. Jules Hyam, the calmest, happiest man in our newsroom expressing rage.